So how does it feel to welcome a critically endangered animal to Folly Farm? Mind-blowing, quite frankly. Um, as a, me personally, this is a career highlight. Um, and for a park such as Folly Farm to have come so far um, in such a short period of time, um, 15 years ago when the zoo was in its infancy, bringing black rhinos was a, a far-fetched dream. Uh, they're now in the park and now to have a baby, a first for Folly Farm and a first for Wales and a really important part of a breeding programme for a critically endangered animal. Does it get any better really? So as, as a normal average day, the, the uh, keepers go off and they check their animals. Um, for us, uh, as the management of the park, uh, quite often we have to rely on our keeping team to, to be our eyes and ears on the ground. Um, we can't be everywhere at once. We have an awful lot of animals at Folly Farm. Uh, in this particular occasion, uh, one of our rhino keepers uh, went up to check on Dakima um, and I got a very excited phone call. Um, which is a phone call I've been waiting for for many days. Uh, it was a series of squeals and uh, I managed to pick out the word rhino and baby within those squeals. Uh, uh, as you can imagine, everyone's over the moon excited. Um, immediately after receiving that phone call, I made my way with a couple of other keepers up to check on Dakima to make sure she was doing okay and everything was looking okay with baby. Um, and well, what can I say? She was perfect. Baby was perfect. Um, she was already being an amazing mother and uh, yeah couldn't have gone better. So for the species as a whole, this is a really important baby. Um, black rhinos, everyone aware, is aware that rhinos in general are uh, endangered species. The black rhino is a critically endangered species. These are eastern black rhinos, less than sort of 650 left in Africa. Um, so it doesn't get more um, endangered than that really. It's on its way to extinction. So every single baby that's born is like a little treasure that we need to look after and, uh, and preserve. Um, it's estimated currently that black rhinos have less than 10 years left in the wild. Um, so breeding programs such as the one that Folly Farm is involved with are really, really important. And um, we work with zoos all over Europe to ensure that these animals have a future, have a survival. And also Folly Farm's working um, with partners in Africa to ensure that the rhinos left on the ground are preserved. Um, and ultimately, these, these rhinos could end up back in Africa one day. So at this early stage, Dakima is doing all the hard work. Um, she's being a fantastic mother. Um, this calf, uh, as it develops, will hopefully build up a bit of a bond with the keepers and staff that work around it every day. Um, rhinos are quite um, fussy creatures. They, they don't like change a great deal. Um, they do like their familiarity, so uh, they tend to sort of stomp first, charge first, and uh, and think later. Um, so you do have to have a sort of respect to working around them. You do have to take your time with various bits and pieces and work with them at their pace. Um, but ultimately, the more you work with them, the calmer they become. And with animals like this, I mean, an adult rhino weighs over a ton in weight, so we're talking quite big animals. We can't go in with them, they are wild animals, they are dangerous animals, but we can build up a bond on the other side of, of the, um, the fence. We can bring them over to us, we can get hands on with them. And as baby develops, uh, hopefully mum will start to trust him around us a little bit more because at the moment she's fiercely protective. Um, but even now in these early days, he's starting to come over and say hello to the keepers um, and he's getting quite brave. She'll quite often put herself in between him and us just to make sure he's okay. Um, but as that develops, that bond will build um, and we will get to, to work with him a little bit and then we'll start him on the, the next important steps. He'll go outside um, and explore the world for the first time. All new experiences for baby. Um, and he'll then start to work with the keepers a little bit more. And um, like a lot of our big animals here, um, their health and well-being is the most important thing to us. So when you're working with such a big animal, you have to work with them um, in um, similar that you would work with your pet dog. We, we train them um, to perform certain behaviours. Um, I'm not talking circus skills. These are health checks. Um, we want to be able to get hands on with baby from very early days for him to come over for us to be able to just check him over visually to have a look um, get used to touching us um, so that we can if, we, if he does have a problem in the future we can make sure his health and, and well-being is is paramount and then eventually um, little baby um, will get a name he will be entered into the breeding program records and going forward that means for him uh, he'll either go on to um, have babies of his own as part of the breeding program or he'll end up going back out to Africa to stock up the wild species. So at the moment 
it's a little bit of an unknown future for baby, but it's bright for the species as a whole. This is Dakima's first baby. Now, it's the first calf she's had. Her and Nkosi are both completely new to this parenting thing. Nkosi has the, the easy life because he's done his bit. He's now separate from mum and baby. Um, when they have their calves, females in the wild like to go and be on their own. Um, Dakima so far has taken to motherhood like a dream. Um, she is protecting that baby. She is keeping him safe. She's allowed him to suckle from day one. Um, she in herself is fit and healthy. Um, she's you know, maintained her wonderful round figure. Uh, so she's, she's doing wonderful. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't have wished for more for her. Um, and if things continue the way they are, um, that little boy will be running around entertaining people here for a little while um, and go on to become a really important ambassador for his species. And who knows uh, where the future leads from.